Isomers are molecules with identical formulae, but different spatial arrangements of those atoms. There are a lot of different types of isomers, and I'm going to show you a flowchart with a few of them. For this class, we're only going to consider a couple of the isomers. We're going to look at structural isomers and geometric isomers. So structural isomers are molecules that have the same chemical formula, but they differ in their bonding arrangement for the atoms. So the atoms are not just in a different position, they're actually connected to different atoms. And we'll look at a couple of different examples. Each of these three arrangements of carbon atoms, the five carbon atoms from C5H10, is different. And the arrangement of these carbon atoms is the obvious difference between the molecules. But once we've drawn these, it's important to remember that you can't omit the hydrogens, so we have to draw those in. Sometimes the difference in arrangement is not in the carbons, it can be in one of the functional groups, but regardless, structural isomers will have some difference in the connections between their atoms. So geometric isomers have to contain a double bond. All of the connections are going to be between the same atoms between the different isomers, but the spatial arrangement around the double bond is going to be different. So we'll look at an example of geometric isomers. When there are hydrogens on the same side of the double bond and the functional group or other interesting things are on the other side of the double bond, you have what is known as a cis isomer. When your hydrogens are on opposite sides of the double bond, and your interesting things are on opposite sides of the double bond as well, you have what is known as a trans isomer. 